Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another music news video for you. And you want to know something? This is right up in my face when I was making this video. It's bright. Oh my god, it feels like the sun's in your face. Oh, I'm getting burned. Hey guys, welcome back to another music news video. And in today's music news video, we're going to be talking about everybody keeps wanting a Pantera reunion tour with Zach Wilde as the guitar player. And even Vinnie Paul basically saying, that's pathetic. Fans shouldn't want a reunion tour with Zach Wilde. And to me, I could say, well, it wouldn't really be Pantera, but Zach Wilde, out of all the guitar players that are out there right now kicking ass and uh, playing, he's the only guy that could take Dimebag Daryl's uh, spot. I'm not saying he would uh, replace him by any means, but he's the only one that plays very, very similar to uh, what uh, Dimebag did. Because Dimebag and Zach Wilde were buddies. And they used to play together, used to jam together. So I could see why a lot of fans want it. But he's saying, well, if Van Halen was shot in the head, would everybody want Zach Wilde to go play in Van Halen? And would they call that Van Halen? Well, I, I just think people want to hear or be able to at least see uh, the members of Pantera get back together. Rex Brown, uh, Philip and Selmo, and even Vinnie Paul. But Vinnie Paul's like, I have no, I don't want anything to do with, uh, Vin with Philip and Selmo and nothing to do with Rex Brown. And he's basically saying fans are just being ridiculous for, uh, and selfish for wanting this, uh, kind of thing. And this will never ever happen. But let me know in the comment section below, would you want to see a reunion tour with Zach Wilde as guitar player? The U.S. metal bands say they've been forced into making the move as a result of guitarist John Denae's commitments with Anthrax. Plus continuing financial difficulties, Denae hasn't been officially confirmed as Rob Caggiano's replacement in the Thrash Giants. Although guitarist Scott Ian told Team Rock last year, as far as I'm concerned, John is the guitar player in Anthrax, a Shadows Fall rep says in a statement. In addition to the upcoming European run, they're planning a final North American tour and will possibly visit a few other territories over. The next year, there are many factors behind this difficult decision. It comes down to families, availability and finances. Two members have young children, plain and simple. They want to be with their families to watch their kids grow, the band dad. We don't hate each other, we're not bitter, we, in fact, still have a really great time together. But the ride has slowed down, and it's time for the next chapters in our lives. Whatever that may be, touring full-time in a band has never been more difficult financially. When you have to ensure the future comfort of your family, difficult decisions have to be made. Another reason is the fact that our lead guitarist is now an Anthrax, which makes it hard for us to do any extensive touring. You still may see us at a festival or two. Over the next few years, if they ask, we will come. Shadows Fall will tour with Felipe Roer in place of John A. While original bassist Paul Romanco will return after taking time out to raise his son. They play three UK dates next month as part of their European tour. So, what do you guys think of this situation where lead guitar player is now going to Anthrax? And basically it sounds like Shadows Fall will be no longer. And Shadows Fall is one of those bands that have been around for the last, I don't know, 10 years kicking ass. And if that's all you know is music, you got to be able to, uh, this, let's say they're having kids, because it sounds like they're having kids. Um, and they want to be there and raise their kids. Look at Metallica, for example. They still go out day in and day out and still kick ass and still provide for their family. I know family, family comes first before you go out and you tour, but isn't that your job? It would be like you saying... Well, I'm not going to be that warehouse worker anymore. I'm not going to be that construction worker because I'm going to go focus and just hang out with my family. And only once in a blue moon, I'll go out and um, tour 
or go out and uh, go do a job. So to me, it sounds like Shadows Fall should still be kicking ass. I haven't really heard anything new by them. It says financial reasons. And um, Scott Ian basically saying that is a new replacement for Anthrax guitar player. He's basically their new guitar player. So that means he's still going to be out there kicking ass and playing uh, music. But it seems like the full-time touring of metal band Shadows Fall will not be happening anymore. And let me know in the comment section below, do you think Shadows Fall should continue? Just go out and get a new guitar player. I know a lot of people don't want replacement guitar players. They're like, nah, I would rather have my uh, buddy, my main man that's always been there. It'd be like saying you have Metallica but without James Hetfield on guitar. That would be kind of weird, right? But as always, guys, that is uh, another music news video right in your face. And I'll definitely talk to you guys next time. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think Shadows Fall should continue playing music and touring their ass off or spend time with family and friends even um lamb of god is taking time off it comes to a point where you've toured and made so much money you want to spend time with family and want to do the right thing and do you guys think that a reunion tour with zach wilde as the guitar player of pantera would be something badass to see so